A fantastic rivalry in store here on Championship Court for Men's Pro Doubles. It's Ben Johns and Colin Johns, the brother duo, facing off against Matt Wright and Riley Newman. These two teams went head to head in the second half of 2022. But now the question is, can Matt and Riley find a little something special here at the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Open. Presented by Foot Solutions, Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming. You see the number one player in the world, Ben Johns in the red. He's gonna have some a task in front of him with Matt Wright, some of the quickest hands. Yeah, so this team has played this matchup 14 times and it is the Johns boys that have won 10 of the times and they've won five of the last six in this rivalry. So they are certainly feeling very confident. Here's a good look at Ben and Colin Johns. You always know Ben is the better player, but he's baby brother in this. He's 23, Colin's 29. They both live in Austin. They're originally from Maryland and they're winning over 92% of their matches. It's just an incredible run. And it's really fun for Ben to have Colin by his side. There's a lot of pressure on him. Every tournament, he is the target. And to have one of the best strategists in the game in Colin Johns next to him to just calm him down, get them focused. On the other side, Matt Wright gets another shot at Ben Johns. Wasn't able to get it done and mixed. Can he fix it? So Johns and Johns versus Wright and Newman. First serve coming up after this. Calling it solid to a point and said at the moment, this is the best pickleball you'll see. It is indeed. And uh, just a crazy stat is of the last 21 PPA tournaments, either Ben or Riley was on the winning side. Just absolutely unbelievable. You have to go all the way back to the PPA cha championships in October of 21 when Deckel Barr and Adam Stone won a title. Everything <laughs> since then has had Ben or Riley in the winner's circle. That's quite a run. A lot of winners out on this court right now. The question remains, who Game will be one, crowned Diamond, champion zero, for men's zero, pro two. doubles here at the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Open? Saw Matt Wright earlier in the mixed doubles final playing alongside Lucy Kovalova. He is in the One, green zero, shirt two. now, about to serve. His partner is Riley Newman. With a nasty third shot drive on the backhand side. Far side of your screen, Colin Johns on the right side, Ben Johns two, zero, on the left. Two. Don't have to avert your eye. They'll be there in those same spots all day Sorry. with the Johns brothers. <laughs> I know I asked Colin about playing the right side versus left in some of those uh, Major Zero, League Pickleball in situations where he is on the left. He said, I know what pays the bills, Cam. It's that right side. <laughs> Point. A couple funky bounces, whether it's off the net or off the paddle. Yeah, net court city right there and one, again two, adjustments one. matt Wright played aggressively on the left side in mix now comes out and plays the right side in this match Point. oftentimes trying to neutralize the offense of matt and riley finding that middle dink yeah, that's the safest two, two, place one. to put the ball. You'll see them put the ball there a lot because Riley and Matt are much more dangerous on the outside of their bodies in this formation. Point. Not enough lift from Riley Newman there. And that's the other secret Three, two, sauce one. of the Johns duo is they will play a specific style. They have a matchup and a game plan going into this. Point. And they'll just keep funneling it. They have the discipline to keep putting the ball in a winning spot. They'll find their patterns Four, and two, stick one. with them until they stop working. Why they're the number one team in men's pro doubles. Point. Miss backhand volley 
from and Matt they Wright. honestly don't care how they win the point. The fans one, love two, the uh, Ernie's like we saw in the feature, but they'll keep throwing a dink in the middle, and if they want to miss it, that's good too. Second you can see Matt Wright trying to work a little bit more towards that forehand side. That's tough with those middle dinks. You got Riley Newman sitting with his right two, foot two. near that center line. Yeah, we're going to have some bumper cars if he gets any farther over. Attempting to create space is Ben Johns, but he created too much space for his brother. And that's the difference. Riley Newman is much more comfortable attacking off the bounce with the two-handed two, backhand one. and fires away at Colin Johns there. Second for the backhand punch and close is Matt Wright. The other advantage for the Johns brothers in the matchup today is it's warming up here, so that'll slow the ball down, and they are much better in a slower match than in a colder climate against this team. Side out. Wright and Newman want to play fast. Five, two, one. Second serve. Matt Wright dropping his arms down, getting out of the way. You heard the loud call from Riley Newman. Him and his sister, Lindsay Newman, known to be some of the best in terms of Five, recognition two, two. of pace and placement. Letting those balls go. Point. Just within the sideline. If you're seeing Colin Johns play for the first time, known to be one of the best resetters and defensive players Six, in two, the game, two. as is Riley Newman. No doubt about it. Tries to catch him, but Ben John's ever ready. He is, and on the rally before that, you saw him fill the middle. Colin Seven, Johns two, lets two. the ball go, and then there he swats with a backhand. They know where every ball is going to go and what the expectation is of their partner. That is humongous. Lightning fast is Ben Johns. Colin John slid on this ball right here to hit a backhand. Again, protects his body, and then he lets the little brother finish. Side out. Colin Johns was straddling the sideline there. He has, he knows anything to the Two left side of one. his body is on Ben John's forehand. He's happy to do it, and it's a smart play. Serve. Watch the counterbalance there from Ben Johns, that left arm giving that much extra punch in this one. Two, eight, Watch two. it work. Yeah, he's holding a pose there for you, Cameron. Side out. Number one seed looking really strong right now, eight to two. Got two of the TV most competitive, out. though, in terms of Riley Newman and Matt Wright as they trail by six. They need to find something special. It's all Ben and Colin Johns here in game number one of the men's pro doubles final of the JW Marriott Diamond, Desert eight, Ridge two, Open. One. Cameron Irwin alongside Dave Fleming, Matt Wright and Riley Newman need to find a few points. And that's Second one serve. way to start. Second serve now. Score remains eight to two. Eight to two. two. You can see Ben and Colin, like we mentioned, really utilizing that middle dink. Riley Newman finally tries to go for a speed up there, but not Yeah, that one was at least a little bit more of an attackable yeah. dink, but it still didn't work yeah. out. Obviously, the net cord didn't help either. Nine, two, Everything's two. going their way. on the board for Johns and Johns. It is now Ten, game two, point. Two. Yeah. 
reaching in, but Riley Newman doing a nice job to finish. Yeah, and you know, Wright and Newman love to play the crowd. This is Riley's hometown. He wants to get them going, just have had nothing to cheer about so far. One defensive play after another for Wright and Newman. And there is the trickery from Ben Johns. Holds that paddle up over his head. Where's that Cobra strike going to be two. inside out? The Southpaw defense from Newman did not get over. Side and then SWAT team from Colin Johns. So a hold for Johns Ten, and two, Johns, one. another game point. Second serve. Ten to two. Oh. Side out. Riley this time able to turn that back to the line at Colin. Yeah, and then a wild Two, ten, rebound one. off the tape there, and uh, Colin wasn't able to get his paddle reset in the right position. Oh. Point. And a point for Newman and Wright. So can they just get a little something going here for Three, confidence, ten, some carryover? You know, stranger things have happened, but this is a big mountain to come back on. And another miss now onto the second serve, three to ten. Again, three, ten, really two. having a tough time facing against that middle dink right now in terms of being able to create. Side out. Ben and Colin are winning points right and left. Yeah, and a big two-handed backhand ten, three, swing one. from Colin Johns there too. He doesn't usually do that unless he's got time. He had plenty of time there. Second serve. We almost had bat to back two-handed winners from each of the brothers, but uh, Ben pulls it a little too far. He's been adding the two-handed backhand Ten, to his three, game. Two. A lot more comfortable with the new Perseus paddle he has from Yola. Point. Wow. Game 11-3. Game number one to Ben Johns and Colin Johns with a margin of separation. Kind of unexpected here for this final. Welcome back to the Garvana PPA Tour. Take a look at some pickleball rules here on Championship Sunday of the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Open. Singles is best of three games. Doubles, which we're in the middle of the men's doubles final as we speak, it's best of five. We've already gone through a mixed doubles and a women's doubles. Annalie Waters already two on the day in terms of her gold medal count. We will have side out scoring, so you can only score a point with your serve. It's double side out here in the men's doubles. Play to 11, Game must win by in. two. Zero, zero, two. Side out. And a rare miss from Ben Johns on the third shot drop. So a zero, first ball zero, side out. One. So Dave, I have to ask first and foremost, when you have a middle dink coming your direction and a great counter punching team, you're trying to create, zero, where zero, can two. you create? You gotta wait for a ball that's wide and then find targets oh, on boy. your opponent. What they've done before is they've really gone after Ben John's backhand. He's One, zero, reset two. most of those in the past. With this new paddle, I've seen him counter a lot better. That's a nightmare of news for all of the other guys playing out there. Same thing with Colin Johns. You know he's gonna slide. The margin is so thin, you can catch the right Zero, side of his body, one, one. but it's really difficult. You have to play some high-risk pickleball if you're not gonna do anything with those middle dinks except dink it. Every opportunity matters right now if you're Newman and Wright. Each ball that's just Zero, three one, inches higher, you gotta add some pace and a different location. Side out. 
Looks like they're moving a little better here in game two. Moving a little better, getting a little help from the other side and missing some balls in the transition. One. That's where you got to seize it. Second serve. Both Matt and Riley reaching to that middle. And both shaking their head. That's never good. At least they're both going there aggressively now, but uh, they need to decide where the ball flag comes from, who's responsible. Ben Johns continuing to squash the ball Side up. until that one baseline out of bounds. Yeah, Riley Newman desperately Zero, needs one, one of those one. wild points where he's running all over the place. Ernie, something that gets him and the crowd charged up. He just hasn't had it. There's the pancake grip of Riley Newman. Don't want to go with that right shoulder. No. Zero, one, two. There's something. You hear the first yes out of Riley Newman. Now we mentioned the pancake grip. That's pretty synonymous with that man's one, zero, style one. of play. Riley Newman said he's always had a little bit of a unique grip. other's toes not quick enough that's a great read by riley newman because he knows the ball is likely to go back there because when a player's in the kitchen they have to get out of there One, you want to feed two. them the ball because they may not establish newman just a tad late Side up. trying to cover with the two-hand backhand riley newman one of the Zero. best resetters One, One. in the game Second serve. You got to feel good about that attack out of the middle on the backhand side. Yeah, and Colin Johns is looking to the heavens. Zero, he didn't one, take two. one more slide that way, knowing where the ball was. He could have cracked that two-hander. <laughs> it was just a little late. Like you mentioned, the first time ball goes wide, they're attempting to find a speed up. I mean, that is, but the zone is so small because he's guarding one, one, it two. so well. And the wide, it becomes a problem because the sideline does not have a doubles alley to its side, unlike tennis. Side up. Nice point there by Riley Newman as he had to unwind the stack one, and one, finds one. a good first volley. Point. Nice shot, Riley, from Matt Wright. Yeah, Riley thought he missed that, but Two, he has one, that one. magic willpower where he can push the ball over somehow, and that worked out there. Riley Newman with the full extension, but again, the court coverage of Johns and Johns, just remarkable. Two, one, that was a two. great speed up up at the body. You want to hit that right there, and Colin Johns able to fend it off. That's not a easy shot at all. Side out. One, two, one. Another side out for Johns and Johns. Second serve. Change of pace. So oftentimes we talk about the speed up and the location, but different tempos one, two, two. can create problems as well. Yeah, because you need different grip pressure to reset that or give it a little more oomph. You usually use the pace of the ball coming at you. Side out. Out of bounds. Riley Newman with a quick finger. You can see with that different grip that he utilizes right now is a great image. He actually has to drop that paddle face down so far on that forehand side to then be able to whip that thing up and through. So Riley Newman and Matt Wright at this moment up by one. Okay, upon video review, the out call stands. Gons lose their video challenge, one timeout. So we will resume play at 3-1-1.
That is the words of Jim Ryan, our lead official, second official, Don Stanley. Sehan Hunter is our tracking referee, as well as Paul Rast is our video referee for this championship match. Riley Newman and Matt Wright add one more to their score, 3-1. And this is what I was wondering, who is going to get the crowd on their side first? Because in game one, it was just all Johns and Johns. So the correct score here, Cameron, is 2-1-1. That's a, that's a side out. And uh, the players all know it, Matt. So we got to just get the uh, the referees squared away here. And uh, there we go, 2-1-1. You are correct. Matt Wright having the conversation with Johns and Johns. You want it, you know, he says, they're going to give us one more. Yeah. Why not take it? Any point against the Johns is a good one. <laughs> Time in. Gifts are accepted, but uh, let's let's play it the right way here. So here we go. Second serve. Usually that works for Riley I Newman. Two one two. Side out. And two straight rallies go the direction of the Johns. So side out and ball back. Yeah, very quick. And they're trying to get some energy one, two, with one. the crowd and just unable to do anything there. Second serve. Missed in the transition zone. You have to imagine Riley Newman and Matt Wright at one, this two, point two. feel like they need to make some moves here in game two after losing game one. Start changing the script. A defensive clinic on the side of the Johns until the final of Riley Newman. Yeah, Colin Johns' ability to just keep resetting the ball, that is textbook, but uh, good relentless pressure from uh, Riley Newman. Sitting down is Colin Johns. So he knows if the ball's wide over there and baby brothers to his left just sit forehand from that ball position. Watch where his paddle goes. Boom. Side up. Still just looking for some rhythm here in game two, our Newman and Wright. Yeah, sloppy on both sides with the fifth ball. doing a really nice job setting up his partner. And a little, just a, a, a tad bit of frustration here from Ben Johns. You don't see him kick at the ball very often, certainly One, two, did two. there. Just haven't been clean here in game two at all. Again, Matt Wright on that forehand side. He's seen more opportunities now. Yeah, and that's why they're frustrated. That ball right there is feeding what he wants to his left. It's perfectly safe. And a little carry return. over there, yeah. Watches these returns Three, one, go. One. A lot of these athletes will actually hit on the move to be able to get to the kitchen line that much quicker. There was a lot of chatter the last time these two played, especially, believe it or not, with Colin Johns and Riley Newman. So we'll see if that picks up. And a finger point, Matt Wright taking the slow walk around the crowd. He is in no hurry. Some teams, when it's going well, like to speed it up. These guys want the crowd to get involved. It's a show here, Cameron. <laughs> Second serve. Tough right on the body of Matt Wright. Five, one, two. Five, one. Points on the board for Riley Newman and Matt Wright. 
Hank just got a little tripped up. A nice read there from Ben Johns. Yeah, again, the ball height, he read that perfectly and said, if you're going to come in, I'm going to put it at your feet. Riley Newman knew where the ball was going, but it was just too far out of his reach. of Ben or Colin. Yeah, and that dink right here from Colin is just sitting up way too high, and that's the margins. A little lower, he cannot afford to pull the trigger there. Just to watch the recoil for Ben Johns from one contact to the next, so balanced and so quick. It's ridiculous. Two, five, two. That was an impressive catch, Riley. Yeah, let's see if he cut his hand like Annalie. I think he was joking earlier that happened to her when she caught a ball. more towards the left side of his body. Look at this. Look at this guy get low with the scorpion. I mean, that leg day matters, folks. That's impressive. My knees hurt watching that. defend by calling John. It's outrageous. The one before that, just no one in the world is getting no, back, and he puts not. it back there. Just fantastic defense that's offensive as well. He looks to do it one more time. And by the way, that number now sits at 74. This is the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Open. Wright and Riley Newman now with a two-point advantage in game two, but it was all Johns and Johns in game one. Heads up, VIP. Hope you're wearing your protective eyewear. No doubt. That's the angle. We talked a lot of today about people haven't been finishing their overheads. Find an angle. Wow, that was a cute. location from Matt Wright. Talk to me about how difficult it is in terms of technique to be able to speed these up. What are you looking for? Well, you're looking for a couple things. Ball flight from your opponent and where you think you can contact it and then the paddle position of the person in front of you. If they hold it on the left side, you want to go to their paddle side hip and the reverse of that if not. And this is exactly what Newman and Wright wanted. So there's a lot that goes into that attack and the knowledge of your opponent and where they're comfortable is really important that really has taken this country by storm in regards to pickleball and the love for it. Oh. Riley Newman a little disappointed on that one. Yeah, kind of ran out of real estate over there. That fence wasn't going to give Four ground, that's one. for sure. Point. Too much on the slice return from Newman's paddle. Five, nine, one. understand maybe if you're new to pickleball at this level is just how difficult some of these dinks are and the amount of pace and placement that they have and the amount of spin. Yes. The spin is really a lot to deal with. The margin for error on these middle dinks is maybe three to six inches tops. 
in terms of location and height. Yes, because you're dealing with the height of the net, but then also the depth of where you put it, because these are tall men on the other side. They've been reaching in, but look at what happened here. The Johns boys called timeout, didn't even talk. Didn't even talk. They didn't care about the graphic we had, about where we're going. They just hung out. They knew what they wanted to do, get back to basics, dink that ball in the middle, and then go hunt. Best crowd in pickleball right here in Desert Ridge. Welcome back to Championship Court. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside senior pro Dave Fleming. We've been having a great Time Championship here. Sunday Seven, nine, here. One. We're right in the middle of the men's doubles final. Ben Johns and Colin Johns looking for gold. As are Matt Wright and Riley Newman right now, they have the advantage in game number two. Yeah, and Colin Johns can't Seven, believe nine, he missed two. a reset that 98% <laughs> of the players would not have made, but that's the level of expectation he has. Ben trying to find that second backhand as he slides to the center line. Nine, seven, one. Matt and Riley ball back. They need two. Net cords. And they're still wondering whether that ball was in or out. <laughs> the crowd doesn't get a say on whether it was in or out. But uh, they agreed with the call. <laughs> Tough ball there for Riley Newman. So much touch to be able to bring that back up the line. Yeah, and it's uh, a big opportunity lost at nine again for these two to try and get out the door here. chasing the lob. And all smiles on the side of Johns and Johns. They played the entire court and then found an alley. Well, at least Ben played the entire court. Colin slides over there and says, come on over, baby brother, and finish for me. What a job of working in tandem by the brothers. across his body and you can see him just grimacing looking Eight, at the nine, ball two. there. They got all the way back within one here. to watch the patterns just within these dink rallies. A lot of times, Matt Wright going up the line and forcing Ben to at least take that ball off the bounce. Yes, if it bounces, that's great. But then if he tries a, a speed up when he gets it there, Ben's just sitting on it. We're tied up. Side out. No love from the net for Ben Johns. Ten more coming our way. So can they get to that 10th point? They've been at nine forever. Nine, nine, one. And they catch him. 
Watch how shallow these dinks are to the kitchen line in accordance to the net as well on the side of Ben and Colin. Game point, right in Newman. Too much of an angle from Ben John. Just a ridiculous get on the first one. Had to do a push up off of the fence to get back into the point and then just an even better angle from John's on the 10, next two. one. That VIP section is uh, getting, their <laughs> money's, it's getting their money's worth. <laughs> so they find the 10th, but the ball back to the Johns. That is an unbelievable stab at game point down by Colin just kept the paddle up, though, and in front. That's the big difference. The paddle's in the right spot. there is Matt Wright. So Ben and Colin have tied things up at 10 apiece. And as a reminder, you must win by two. 10, 10, one. Bonus pickleball on its way right here, Cameron. <laughs> we call this overtime. He catches Ben. That's a rarity right there. He was leaning left. Ben's pretty sure he made that. Like, Ben knows. You don't have any challenge. Do I have time out? You can't challenge. Ben thinks that ball was in. 10 10 2. A couple of frustrated Johns boys out of, out of. They don't have a timeout, so they can't use it here. That's a big yeah. I don't think I've heard the Johns vocalize like that before. And that was Colin, to be crystal clear <laughs> on which brother that was. 11, 10, 2. Game point for Ben and Colin. your breath somebody will make a move yeah. and a good bounce for Matt Wright -wee. after all of that we get a little flick off the tape and it stays in so much work <laughs> wrist of Ben John just another new shot at the hand of Perseus gorgeous disguise there too made it look like he was going to kill it and then just dropped that paddle face to the sky and dropped it in front of Matt Wright so two straight balls and back to the Johns and they look very feisty after that call they are the bear has been poked like I expect you to be there because he sped it up and Matt Wright was looking for a down the line speed up there instead. 
Well, we are we are grateful for going three out of five because that means we have at least one more to go in this men's doubles final. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Hannah Johns from the sidelines, and the pickleball is heating up out here as well as the Arizona Sun. That last game was just electric. The Johns boys able to pull away with that one, but you know Matt and Riley, they're never going to go away without a fight, and we can expect to see a lot more pickleball out here. Johns brothers came in. They told me before the match, we want to slow it down. We want it to be hot. We want that ball to be softer. That's the way that we play our best, whereas Matt and Riley are looking to speed the ball up, and we're going to see probably a lot more of that in game three. Guys, don't go anywhere. Cameron? Well, and I'm glad that she mentioned it with the ball getting a little bit, we'll call it mushier. I mean, let's be real. It doesn't get that much, that much mushier, but it definitely slows the game down just enough. And that plays to the favor of Ben and Colin Johns. Yeah, because uh, Riley and Matt played one of the best matches I've ever called in Utah when it was colder. That ball was a little harder and it was at absolute game breathtaking three, pace. Zero, zero, so they have to work through it. They had their chances at nine forever and just weren't able to do it. Well, and mentally, it's got to be a grind, too. You got stuck on the ninth point in game number two for Matt and Riley. Tweener from Ben Johns. Point on the side of Newman and Wright, though. And then Colin overran it after the tweener. Like, brother's going for the highlight reel over here. And they find the ball back. Colin's not used to going to the left side of the court. He's still hung out on the right side there. Ooh, that was quick, Matt, Matt Wright. Yeah, so when Ben Johns has been going for that two-handed backhand, it's always been a speed up, and traditionally he's been bringing it down the right. Good read by Matt Wright. called out of bounds and Colin Johns just puts his hands on his hips. But I will say a different speed up location on the side of Matt Wright. He actually found the right hip earlier in that rally against Colin Johns. Went cross court, cross body. Some fancy feet from Riley Newman. Side up. Yeah, and they've definitely upped the ante on the pace. They're taking a whack at anything they see. I don't think they're going to sit in those Zero, three, marathon dink rallies in the middle of the court here, especially after they had a game point in game two that they couldn't cash. Wild redirects there from Johns and Johns. This all comes from the amount of experience and consistency that these two bring. Second serve. Yeah, the other thing we don't talk about a lot is some of these teams don't get to practice together ever. The Johns boys practice very specific things together all the time. That is a huge advantage they bring to the court. Another point for Johns and Johns. Again, found that center point, the body of Riley Newman right here, just on that right side. That's typically his moneymaker. That's his shot. And you have to feel so much pressure to create right now, right? In, this, in, in one specific situation. Yeah, and there clearly was a discussion that we're just gonna go. It's worked before, it's high risk. Yeah, they're pulling every trigger they can now, Cameron. They're looking and firing. Testing their own hands right now. 4-3, John's on top.
played an out ball. You can see it on his face. I think Colin saved the video board on that one. That was going to be well out. He's talking to himself off court here as we watch the replay. He can't believe it. But it's tough when you get locked in on those firefights. Point. Yeah, you're so engaged that you're tracking the ball that you can't, your brain can't say, let it go and go get it at the same time. It's just not fair. We should be able to do both as a human. 4-4. <laughs> four, four. Not enough room there for Matt Wright. He tried. And there's just a little extra in Ben's game right now, ever since that uh, little line call controversy at the end of game two. But here we are. It's four all. It's right there for anybody to take it. Some good anticipation there from Riley Newman. But again, you get challenged on the opposite side of your body from the point you just sped up on the right side. Looking for the southpaw, but it goes into the net. Yeah, tried the lefty slam dunk there, and then I think the other thing in his mind was, is this going out? Because he looked back at where the end line is. It hasn't changed location. Nice combination from Matt Wright. Yeah, Newman and Wright clearly said at the break, any ball is fair game for either one of us to just go. In that case, it was Ben Johns that started it. Side out. And that happens sometimes. There was a ball before that Colin Johns played that was going out. So the next ball at that same height, you let go, but it didn't have nearly the pace and stayed in. Point. There's the high speed up to the backhand side. I think back to the bubbly team championships. And that was utilized against Ben Johns at times. Kind of that 50% ball. Second serve. Yeah, that location has been very good for these two. With the new paddle, I've seen Ben Johns countering more, getting a little more of an opportunity, larger sweet spot in that Perseus shape for him. Trying to find the body of Ben Johns. And again, just the counter punch is wild. TV timeout. So five apiece. We will step aside here as Ben and Colin Johns are ahead, or excuse me, at the break. Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento now will face off in singles women's singles championship here at the JW Marriott Desert Ridge Open presented by Foot Solutions. That's going to be the next championship matchup here on the Desert Ridge Court. And then we will follow that with Ben Johns versus Federico Stackstrude, a rematch from the Hyundai Masters event just a few short weeks ago. But for now, we still remain in the men's pro doubles matchup. Ben Johns, Colin Johns versus Matt Wright and Riley Newman. And right through the gut for Ben Johns. That's one way to score a point. That is. It's nice to hit a clean winner off a third. That almost Six never five, happens. One. Little miscommunication on who's going to take that ball. Wow. Just back. That would have been heartbreaking to have two thirds in a row beat you, one clean and one off the tape. Six, five, two. And again, so quick is Ben Johns. Anticipation is on the forefront for him. Yeah, to be athletic, and he has that perfect Seven, build, five, that push-off, his lateral movement is better than anybody's. You combine that with great anticipation, you get shots like that. the aggressor he gives an extra fist pump proud of himself on that one yeah and he's been a little louder since uh, again back to the end of game number two and his play has gone with the decibel level it's gone nothing but up 
Ben was on the full chase and nearly had it. Yeah, couldn't quite track that down. So uh, dangerous times for Wright and Newman here. They got to go now. And the dink rally ends on the paddle of Matt Wright. Just full extension. Ben and Colin still feeling very comfortable in those moments. Yeah, they'll sit there and do that all day long. They don't care. Foot fault called. Interesting. So uh, you can only wait. Yeah. The, the, the footfall call was on the right Newman side because Ben was nowhere near the kitchen. You can't win two side outs in one point, though. So get it right back. Point. Really trying to loop that ball into the right corner for Riley Newman. Yeah, now we're into Hopeville, and you do not want to be there against the Johns, who are two points from securing this. Colin Johns checks over his shoulder. Yeah, he's making sure Riley saw that I just drilled it into the open court. Ten, five, one. Championship point for Ben and Colin. Second serve. Not so fast. They are the defending champs from just a year ago. 12 Ten, times five, since they have won, including the Masters. Way to create some space. Yeah, and you've got uh, Matt Wright on the left side here. They're emptying the vault on uh, things to do. Five, ten, one. Second serve. And blocking out the sun is Ben John still finding a great overhead. That's a Huge ball off the, you see the back pedal, that's a smart shot. Newman's the better defender, find Matt right there. So you see in this formation, the dinks go wide from the Johns because they know the middle is dangerous. So they finally still work that direction. Riley now on the right, Matt on the left. Six, ten, and two. You said danger in the middle. Well, there it is. Absolutely, and they sped it up right into Matt Wright's forehand, and uh, he hasn't played the left side of the Seven, court ten, since two. about four hours ago in the mixed final, so uh, good recognition and a freebie. Okay. This has officially become a game, ten, eight to 10. Second serve. Oh. Matt feeling like he had a good look. He was engaged and just firing away. That one was just a little low. That's the one he thought he'd get out of there. But again, that defense of Colin Johns. And a very interesting uh, exchange there at the net with uh, the players. But uh, again, I saw the Johns boys rise up at the end of game number two. And then Wright and Newman might be wondering what could have been that switch at the end. Matt Wright started to look pretty comfortable in the few points that he did play on the left side. But uh, again, this brotherly duo is just too tough.
back-to-back -back champs here at the Desert Ridge Open. Here's a final point. Ben John taking full control. Award ceremony after this. Welcome back to Championship Court, where Team Johns joins me in the winner's circle. Boys, fantastic match. Finish that off in just three games. How good are you feeling right now? Uh, really good, because it was looking pretty grim there in the second game, and uh, we had some sloppy errors. We had to clean those up, uh, but we're never out of it, so you keep battling, uh, keep giving yourself an opportunity to win. Well, you guys told me yesterday you wanted a hot day and you wanted a slow ball. Is that what happened here today? Uh, yeah, I can definitely feel that Arizona sun. Uh, the ball definitely was playing slow out there, so it was uh, some longer points. You know, I think both those players speed up really well, so a little softer ball definitely helps on the counter. Uh, yeah, and I think that, that suited the, the strategy today, and it worked out well. Well, guys, a close call at the end of game two made you guys a bit frustrated. You didn't have any more challenges to, got, to go over that call. Uh, did that light a fire under you guys till you could finish off game two? I guess you could say that a little bit. Of course, we would have liked to have a challenge to see if it was in or out. We felt like it was in, but I guess we can only, only go back and check. But I'm glad we got game two anyway. All right, guys, congratulations. It's time to present your trophy. Brian Scott from our presenting sponsor, Foot Solutions, comes on court now to give that to you guys. I'm just breaking up a family affair here, guys. Yes. On behalf of Foot Solutions, our CEO, John Prothro, myself, Brian Scott, Senior Vice President, it is my extreme honor and pleasure to present to you this trophy for being this year's JW Marriott's Desert Ridge Open Men's Doubles Champion. Congratulations, y'all. Congratulations, guys. Ben Johns and Colin Johns, victorious yet again from one year ago and just a few short weeks ago. The color red, well, it's fitting at this moment. Sure is, and uh, the, the level that they are pushing the rest of the men in the field to do, they have shown that they are the gold standard, and it's not just what they do on the court, it's all the work they do off the court, in the gym, in the study, and in the strategy, and impressive win in three. It's hard to beat the team they just beat in three straight. Well, no, that's a great point, and they said, talked about it in the second game. It was tough, but they still pulled out that second game 12 to 10. So Ben and Colin victorious yet again.